Functional habit asks about procrastination. He has it. He's wondering if we all have it. Well, I'll tell you this. If we're doing one thing, that means we can't do something else. You can only do one thing at a time, so therefore, make your procrastination positive. And when you switch your perspective like that, you can get things done. My friend Adam Farfan, multimillionaire, retired at age 24. He was a multimillionaire at age 18. He says, procrastination is the worst nation on earth. Truth is, though, we can use it in our advantage. What do I mean? By finding our destiny. What do you do when you procrastinate? Maybe you should be doing that for your career. To really understand this procrastination puzzle and the prison of perfection it puts you in is to understand the pain and pleasure threshold. A lot of peas. We don't get something done because we associate so much pain to actually doing it. It is only when that pain shifts to associating more pain to... When you associate more pain to not getting it done, then that's when you take action and finish it. Think of the papers you did in school at deadline time, for example. Add to that, think of all the possibilities and the pleasure of getting it done. That's going to pull you instead of pushing you, okay? There's power in that, the pleasure of getting it done. Stack reasons. There's so much more I can talk about in terms of using cues, conditioning yourself with the rewards, creating routines, using tools to help you, reminders, plus accountability. The basic idea is taking charge of your life, not letting things take charge of you, owning things, not letting things be owned by you, mastering things, not letting things master you, okay? See, this, this freaking flower could actually hurt and be a dangerous thing. It could make me sneeze and have allergies, the bees could sting me, or it could be a beautiful, beautiful sight. It's up to us. It's up to us about how we're going to feel. We're constantly making that choice. We could choose to be in a great resourceful state or a negative lousy one. I love to say this amazing little affirmation. It's very short but sweet yet stupendous. And it goes like this. If it's to be, it's up to me. If it's to be, it's up to me. SRH just asked, how do I stay positive in negative environments? Just answered that question and posted a new YouTube video. It's my latest video. Essentially what it talks about is having a purpose that pulls you past that negative and using that negative as fuel and coming back to good emotions like gratitude and positive ones. You hold it down like that. Actually, that's actually a good shot. There's always no. Ah! Woo! <laughs> Three, two, three, yeah, I want to lose the About to rock the stage in my own way. Here we go. Yo, daughter to cry. I apologize a trillion times. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Woo! I am for real. Never. I hope she's speeding the way to the club, trying to get the baller, sang or somebody like that, and trying to put the makeup in the mirror. It crash, crash, crash. Well, she got a hottie body, but her attitude is potty. When I met her at a party, she was hardly at naughty. I said, Shawty, would you call me? Party, are you balling? I said, darling, you sound like, like, like palsy. Them freaks dig deep that I side of an ATM receipt But your game been peep Dropping names, she's weak Tricking off, this is lost Take me for a deep Quick way to eat Deep place to sleep Up uh. Yeah Roses really smell like Boo, boo, boo Yeah I I know you like the thing Major skill.
skill to develop. The last two years, two years? millionaires has jumped 33 percent. 33 percent. 8.2 million millionaires, all self-made. Had nothing, just like you. And many times I got knocked down, but guess what? I got right back up. And again, I got my head back against the wall. And then again, I felt like a WWE wrestler. All the pain, all the struggles. But each time, I learned. I learned, and I learned, and I kept growing stronger. And I still had to climb, and climb, and climb. And then I learned, if you put your mind to fucking anything, and you take off all the damn bullshit, nothing can stop you. The truth is, I'm on the same level, in the same ground, as each and every single one of you. If I did it, by golly, all of you can do it even. I did it. You guys can do it even better than me. I got ADD, ADHD, my name starts with the letter D, but that's only because I'm a dominator, a destroyer, a devourer. I'm going to leave you with these three D's that are absolutely critical and crucial. Dream, decide, and do. Stay fresh, stay blessed. And what that means is this. Every moment is fresh and new and every moment is a blessing. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Same time next week. Peace. I was walking by and I seen this guy and I walked up to him and he was so inspiring. I wanted to take action. Mm. Don't you fresh. In the flesh. Great to meet you, Pat. All day. Yo, just meditating here by the creek, about to relax and chill, recharge and just visualize more of that success I was just experiencing. Peaceful. It's true, we can do anything we put our mind to, yes. And we just gotta realize that we gotta grind to the truth inside you, inside me, we free. Yo, I want to thank everybody for, well, you're welcome, first of all, and thank you for reaching out and all the love you're sending me. I'm overwhelmed with it. Infinite gratitude to you all.